Hi everyone, it's Evangeline, and today we'll be taking a look at a Yakima Exo System Kit. So this has the ski and snowboard carrier mounted onto the top shelf, as well as the Gear Warrior cargo basket mounted onto the Exo Swing Base. If you want to get into the Exo System and you want different accessories, this is a great way to start. If you want to go skiing and snowboarding, we also need some extra space for your cargo. Now, the ski and snowboard carrier matched with the Gear Warrior is an interesting combination. The Gear Warrior is great if you have awkward shaped accessories. Let's say you have a larger cooler or larger bags, something that would not fit as well into the gear locker box. Then it's great for that. The downside is if you're driving around in the winter time and you have to think about road grime, salt, snow, mud kicking up, this might not be the best fit for you if you're afraid or worried about your car going out into the open. So in that case, you may want to check out the ski and snowboard carrier matched with the gear locker box. But the perks of the Exo system is you can mix and match. The gear warrior, another perk to it is you can add the gear warrior wheels so that way if you want to turn this into a cart and just cart it around the campsite you can do so so here you have your snowbank and this is similar to the yakima fat cat evo if you're familiar with that roof mounted ski rack now this can carry up to five pairs of skis or four snowboards on that note though it really depends on how your bindings are shaped if you've got thick bindings you might not be able to fit all of them on there and you'd have to go one by one which limits your capacity very easy to use you have large buttons where even if you have mittens and gloves on you just hit the carrier and it pops up making it easier for you to load and unload those skis and those snowboards coming back down notice the way it latches so we have it on our bindings right now so we're going to be able to get it to the first maybe the second notch down there we go about the first notch but even though it's up there you can still lock and secure your carrier if you put the lock cores in now speaking of lock cores i didn't install ours just yet but we do have eight lock core locations that you're going to have to think about so two for the snowbank three and four will be the top shelf five and six will be the swing base and then going in seven and eight will be the hitch pin locks for the top shelf and for the anti-rattle bolt the top shelf and the swing base both have two extra lock cores and that's so that you can switch out or add them so that some of them can be keyed alike but not all of them can be keyed alike so if you want to make it where you can just use one key to access the whole system i do recommend picking up a larger set of same key system lock cores let's say you can get eight or if you're planning ahead for other accessories go ahead and get 12 or more so that everything can match now before getting into those specs and those measurements, let's first take it out onto the test course so you can see how it looks behind our car. When getting the exosystem, please make sure that you have a vehicle that can carry the exosystem. Main thing here is tongue weight capacity. Now I say that the minimum or like the average hitch capacity that I would recommend is 350 pounds. With this configuration though, it's pretty lightweight compared to the other accessories. So the whole system weight is 136 pounds. That does not include the cargo though. Your skis and snowboards not going to weigh as much. Now your gear warrior can carry a good amount of cargo, 110 pounds to be exact. So you're already at let's like, say 220, 230 pounds that you're going to have to think about. Now when backing up or trying to get into tight spots, don't forget how much space this takes up behind your vehicle. Definitely less than a trailer would be. So we measure from the center of the hitch pin hole because the measurement will change depending on what car. And here we have it at about 35 inches of clearance. The Gear Warrior sticks out a couple inches past that, making it at 37. Here for clearance behind the system, you should be good to go. If by any chance you feel like the snowbank is too close to the back of your car, you can actually adjust the top shelf and push it further away from your vehicle. Now this is lined up with the lever of your swing base. So if your swing base fits, your snowbank will fit as well. 
What I really like about this specific accessory though is its low profile. See how our rear window is completely visible on our SUV? Since our backup camera is going to be covered pretty much no matter what, this still gives you some visibility when you need to change lanes or back up into a tight spot. Now if you need more clearance behind your car, you can swing this whole system away and you start by this large lever in the back. Now it will be a tight spot between your exosystem and your vehicle, but the Gear Warrior doesn't take up as much space compared to other accessories. Just enough clearance there to rotate this lever. And once it's fully disengaged right there, you can then pull this smaller knob and then push out using the support triangle. Let's bring this out 90 degrees and it's gonna catch right there in the corner. And now you have all this space, so you can open up your hatch, open up your trunk, swing open your doors, lower your tailgate. You can now grab things from inside your vehicle. You can even set up your campsite behind your car if you're into overlanding and want to do so. Now it's fine to leave it out in the 90 degree position for an extended period of time, but please use the jack stand that was included with your top shelf to get it fit some extra support. And if you need to get access to your Gear Warrior, you can just take the entire thing off. If you put the wheels on, you can then cart it around. But if you want to access it while it's in this position, you might be limited by that top shelf. The solution to that is you can swing the whole top shelf around. You are going to have to close your hatch or your tailgate or put your doors back in. So to get that top shelf ready to go, you start by removing this knob, and then there's going to be the pin. So pull that out as well. And now you can swing this whole thing around 180 degrees. Now just be careful with your longer skis as you swing it around so it doesn't make contact with your vehicle. Now the easier the solution to that is you can just go ahead and take those off. Now's a perfect time to see how easy it is to switch the accessories out. So here we have our top shelf works the same way as our swing base. You first need to move it over to the rotate position for the tab. You can see how you have the arrow and that shows the direction you can turn your knob to loosen it. So notice how the cleat is moving out. Once that's out, you can then lift your accessory off. For most accessories, you'd lift the whole thing off at the same time. The snow bank is a little unique. You can see how you have those little tabs on the end. Every EXO accessory is going to have the same tabs. That makes it easier for you to just drop it back into the top shelf or the swing base. Tighten it back down. Once it tightens up, don't forget to push that tab right back in. And then lock your knobs if you have the keys on you. To bring this back in, you have this little knob in the corner, lift that, grab this corner triangle, and this will help give you the momentum to run it up the ramp and tighten it back down with that large lever. So it's important to tighten down that lever of the swing base, but also the anti-rattle bolt that holds everything in. So this uses a 15 16 wrench or a 24 millimeter wrench. You do have to be very careful with this though and support the exosystem with another hand so it offsets the off balance design. And that way you should be able to hand tighten this most of the way and just wrench it down for the last couple threads. It is helpful if you do like carrying around the basket as a cart once you do get to the campsite, especially when it's loaded up with cargo, it can get pretty heavy. Now, I personally prefer the gear locker box paired with a snowbank ski and snowboard carrier. That way my cargo is protected from the elements and the snow and the salt. But hopefully this video guided you through the different pros and cons, and then you can decide which one is the best fit for you. I did mention some other accessories in this video and also if you want to take a look at the individual components, again check out our product pages here at eTrader.com where we have more information for you, pictures, videos, and pretty cool description pages as well. But right here, right now, this was a look at the Snowbank Ski and Snowboard here on the top shelf with the Yakima Gear Warrior on the Exo Swing Base right here at eTrailer.com. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoy the journey.